22 million Americans hit the grocery store every day. That's one out of every seven people. The average person goes more than one and a half times a week. So chances are you look at it as pretty routine. And with that very mindset, supermarkets have you right where they want you. We did the research and found that these places are set up to tap into your instincts and get you to buy exactly what they want you to buy. And it begins with that first whiff. The first thing you're likely to see and smell in a grocery store are the bakery and flower sections. Smell has a huge impact on your intent to buy. It works quicker than the other senses. Smells immediately connect with that part of your brain that triggers emotions. It's all part of what stores call olfactory marketing. Having this stuff in the front makes you happy and gets you in the mood to gleefully spend some cash. The aisles of stores are organized in that racetrack up and down format on purpose. Studies show that we're hardwired to go up and down each aisle in succession like rats in a maze, following the path the store wants us to, without even thinking about it. Where items are placed on these aisles is also no coincidence. Stores call them planograms. The most popular of these planograms, eye level, is buy level. For example, when you're cruising down the cereal aisle, bulk cereal is down at the bottom, healthy stuff on top, and the pricey brand name cereal is right there at eye level where it's easy to see, examine, and toss in your cart. And supermarkets make bank here. Cereal has an average markup of 44%. The eye level rule goes for kids too, their eye level is jam packed with sugary cereal, Easy Mac and other kids stuff. Milk, eggs and other essentials are tucked away in the back of the store. That makes you go through the entire place to get to them. And once you do get there, it's not cheap. Milk is marked up 55% and eggs 67%. And if you were hoping to visit the supermarket just to get the essentials, don't hold your breath. These staples, eggs, bread, milk, they're spread out in the store's remote corners. It's just another way grocery stores get you to spend lots of time within their walls and see as much expensive stuff as possible you might want to buy. So the next time you embark on your routine weekly shopping trip, go against your instincts. Go in with a list and plan and stick to it. Comb every shelf and aisle to find what you want. Know your store and where to find what you need. And avoid tempting add-on items at checkout like candy, chapstick, and batteries. Maybe this time, you can fool them.